my hair is getting a little bit unruly. I'm gonna have to get a haircut soon. I know that June is over and the month of shout out should be over, but I just I just want to do one more. I'm I'm a 3D designer. I like to design stuff for 3D. And so there are other 3D designers that over the years I have really uh, grown uh, to to really appreciate these designers. And so while there are a lot of them, I'm not going to do like my last video where I just went off the hook and did too many of them. I'm going to keep it simple. Let's just do five. 3D designers that I really appreciate. And if your favorite is not on the list, always remember that there is a comment section and I'd love to hear from you there. So let's jump over and take a look at some of the 3D designers that I'd like you to be aware of. First of all, there is Luis Driggers, which if you are not already aware of Luis Driggers, um, welcome to the hobby. It's good to have you here. Luis is an alum of 3D printing design. She's been doing it for a very long time. She was kind of central in the discussion about stop using my designs and selling things on eBay if I put a license on there that says don't do that. She's been doing 3D design for a very long time and her designs are fantastic. Chances are you've seen one or two of them about. And she is a classically trained artist. I got to meet her at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival where I offered to, on the Da Vinci Color 3D print, anything that she sends me. I'm still waiting, give me a call, I'd love to print it. My interactions with her on Twitter have also been funny. She posted a, a new model that's going to go up in a little while of an owl that she's doing. And this was immaculately detailed. There was individual strands on the feathers. It was absolutely beautiful and it's articulated and it all goes together. And she posted the complete model. It, uh, it was done as far as I was concerned. It looked beautiful and her text on it was... Well, it's pretty good for a prototype, but I'm still working on it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Just call it good and call it a day. It's beautiful. But like I say, she's a classically trained artist. She knows what she's doing, and she knows that to make good art, you put a lot of time and effort into it, and she does, and it shows in all of her models. You've probably seen Sir Pigglesworth. You've you've seen her models in the past, Sir Pigglesby. Um, but if you haven't, and if you're not aware of her full library, check her out on My Mini Factory, check her out on Thingiverse, and, you know, download some of her models and print them if, if they tickle your fancy like that. But I, I, think, I think you should know Louise Triggers. And I want you guys to know about Mia K. I've only recently uh, discovered Mia K. And in fact, I discovered her because she is doing a Kickstarter and it's a very interesting Kickstarter, and I, I think it's absolutely fantastic, and you should check it out. I'll put the link to her in the description. But she's also on Patreon, where you can support her, you know, per month as she makes her models, and I, I think you should. She's really, really cool. This Kickstarter, I said, was interesting, and, and she, $10 gets you all the models, and when she first launched it, she was like, eh, we'll just have a couple of models and then it blew up. Now, if $10 is too much for you, just hold on, she's gonna release them for free in a little while. Getting onto Kickstarter just gets you an exclusive period. But eventually, she wants everybody to have these models, and that is a business model that I was too afraid to try, but it crossed my mind because yeah, I want to give my models away too. I want everybody to have them. She actually did it and she's making it work and it's 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 opened my eyes and made me think and I, I really, really appreciate that. Plus, she's really good. Her designs are fantastic. Now, she does design for DUP 3D printing, SLA 3D printing, if you want to call it that, the light curing resin. So. Her use of overhangs and supports is slightly different than on FFF 3D printing, but they still work. People have been printing her models. Uh, there you go. Check out Mia K. Now, I'm going to call this designer Weekster, because that's what he's called on Twitter and apparently here. 
but uh, and also because if I try to pronounce his name, I'm going to make an utter fool of myself. I'm going to do it anyways. Verdra Vidran Vidran Marjanovic Vidran Marjanovic. That sounds about right. He, what I love about his designs, and and let's go back to his My Made Factory page and take a look at some of the designs that he's made. I love these sort of pill-shaped uh, models that he created. He did a whole series of them. Setting limitations on your design and working on them, that becomes your, <laughs> like it sideways, that becomes your, your style, but it also enables you to it boil down the design to what's important to make it look good. Now, I don't know if he's doing these anymore, but he's also got a little puffy vehicles, chibi, uh, you know, he's, his, his designs run the gamut. He's very cool. And uh, I'd like you to be aware of Weezer. Go check him out. There's also Fab 350 or 365. And you probably have already seen some of their models, but I think that they're worth pointing out. His models are designed to, let's, there we go. They print flat like this in individual parts that are nested together so that they interlock, but they don't touch so that you pull them apart and fold them up and they become the full shape. This is this is 4D 3D printing and I will be having a discussion about 4D 3D printing uh, and when I do I will I will cite Fab 365 again in this but the designs are clever. Each part is designed to print without support and then assembled together afterwards and this I think is, is again you've probably seen uh, Fab 365 if you haven't now you have go check out their designs and you might find one that you uh, you just absolutely can't live without and you should go check that out all right last on this list is ill-gotten games ill-gotten games I've been a fan of for a very long time Adrian is a excellent designer he's making miniatures and, and he he started uh, what I love about him was he started in Tinkercad. He was just taking spheres and putting them together and now he is working in ZBrush and he is doing some absolutely gorgeous, high detailed minis work. And most of his minis print on FFF 3D printers without supports. Uh, some of them require minimum supports. He, he, worked, he works within that constraint extremely well. And so uh, I think he's, he's I've been a fan of, of Ill-Gotten Games for a long time. He's on Patreon now, and, and this is his Patreon page, so go check him out as well. And if you feel inclined, go ahead and pledge. All these people on Patreon making 3D models and having a more successful Patreon page than me, it makes me think maybe I should change my model a little bit. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. I know I said five, but I, I just can't. I just can't do it. I have to do one more. PLA Kit. If you haven't run into his models before, I've run into him on Twitter and here he is also on Patreon. He produces some really cool models. Uh, just just check out the stuff that he does. Let me let me go back a little bit. It's it's a different than Weekster, obviously. It's a different style. But he d also does a lot of pop models and, and very popular uh, characters that you probably know. But he does them in a sort of cutie, chibi style as well. He's, he is designing them for color. He's designing them for uh, for multi-material printing and uh, palettes and things like that. So he's got that in there and they work. They're really cool. So here's, here's another guy you should check out. I had to go to Twitter to show you his models because all of his models on Patreon are... You know, you have to be a patron to unlock them, but check out the work that he does. It's well worth it, and there will be a link for him in the description. So there you go, six 3D designers that I, I really appreciate and admire. You know, I think in a lot of ways I admire their stamina. They've been producing models constantly over time, and, and it's really, really good. Whenever I feel like, oh, I, I want to do more 3D modeling, I check out the work that they're doing and it inspires me so much. And, and yeah, I, I think that I want to do more 
more modeling in the future. What do you think? Did I miss somebody important? Is there somebody that I need to be aware of or, or you think other people should be aware of? Put them in the comments, let us know. And as always, I wanna thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers and if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I wanna remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there. Wait a second, what about Flalistic? Oh, dang it.